All right, so we never talk about this on our show, but I am giving you the non NASCAR fans perspective of what we just saw out of NASCAR Chicago, and it starts right now. So if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page, man. We do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel. It's the only channel to talk Chicago sports, how Chicago talks. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. So Grant Park 220 just went down again. I am not a NASCAR fan. I am not a racing fan. I'm not going to sit here and break down the technical terms of what we just saw here, the technicalities of the race. It's just not like it's not my sport, but I had to get on here and talk about this because of how good an event this actually was. NASCAR Chicago to Grant Park 220 for a non NASCAR fan is the way to get the the casuals I guess I'm a casual in a sense the casuals into racing this is one of the best events that I've ever seen in my life sporting wise on television it is right I, I now here's the thing I am a fan of like racing right like I like the Gran Turismos and stuff like that like I'm a fan of like street racing kind of what we saw but the scenery was so amazing the uh, uh um the actual race itself to me, I, I I don't get the technicalities of like the NASCAR race, right? Like I know there's parts where you play defense and then you go on the attack and different things like that. But to me, right, you're going around in a circle a lot. And I know there's a lot of strategy in it, but you're just, you're going around and around and around. It's not my thing. But when I saw, and, and I know there's a lot of people that are going to be interested by the crashes and stuff like that. Like that's a little bit different. But when I saw the strategy that went into, okay, when I'm coming around this corner here, um, we're going to have a little bit of a straightaway on the street, but I've got to take this at a certain speed. And it, by the end of the race, right on the second day, you kind of saw them using the wall as an advantage, a little bump to bump you into the right spot. Dog, like it, it, it was such an amazing event. It was such amazing scene. Scenery. It's one of those things that I probably would never go to. I said this the other day, right? Um, because we could have got tickets to it. I think we would have been sitting pretty much right. We either right at where they, they waved the checkered flag or a little bit further back. I don't remember exactly where the tickets were at that we could have got, but I said this was a TV event to me. Because the beauty of the city behind it, the the and and the elements ma making an absolute play in today's competition. I mean, um, Van Van uh, Gissenberg, I believe is how you say his name, who ended up winning the race at the end. Um, how he navigated through the rain in the early parts, and then at the end of the race, right, he ends up working his way back up to second place behind Haley the entire time. Like, and then how he positioned himself to take the lead. Like again, y'all can clearly tell I'm not a NASCAR. NASCAR fan. This is just me getting on here and giving props to NASCAR, a sport that I'm not a big fan of, who I think even NASCAR fans probably would say hasn't done a great job putting on certain events, right? Hasn't done a great job putting on big events and stuff like that. Um, at, at least in recent history, based on the things that I've heard, this was an amazing event. And this is something that if they ever started a league up like this, I would be invested a hundred and ten percent of the time. I mean, like, it, I don't even know if that's possible. Let me know in the comments below. Is it even possible to start up a league in something like this? Like, I, I, I don't even know what the logistics of that would be for the city. But this was such an entertaining event because of how the course ran, because of going through the streets, the street, the scenery. Shot. It was something out of a video game. Now, I will say this, and and I think that right there were a lot of like crashes into the barrels. There were a lot of uh, spin outs today, different things like that. Um, and I guess that that kind of, to me, that doesn't make it more interesting because I want to see the cars move at full speed. I actually said, I wish that they had gotten more practice on the track. Like they had gotten practice laps and stuff like that. Maybe they did. And I just missed that part, but I, I actually wish they had gotten more practice laps in so that they knew the course. It felt to me like the beginning of the race was figuring out the course. 
Like, that's how it felt. Like, it felt to me like the first, I don't know, 20 or so laps, maybe maybe 25 laps, was just trying to figure out the course. You had people spinning out left and right. I know Kyle Busch spun out early in that mug, went straight into the barrels full speed. Uh, the tires, I should say, full speed um, and, and got stuck. They ended up having to pull him out. There was a ton of cautions, different things like that. But I think that's because they weren't used to the racing on these tracks and how that how that track actually ran. But man, I, I'm... If, if there was something like this that was consistent, I would absolutely be a 110% fan where maybe you go around city to city, league to league, whatever it is. And let me know if you guys are in agreement on this with me. But this was the perfect event for racing. This is one of the greatest racing events that I've ever seen. This felt like when you see those racing events overseas and different stuff like that, right, where they're going through the mountains and stuff like that. But it's the city of Chicago. Maybe I, I've got the love for it, too, because of the Chicago scenery and stuff like that. But I really, really enjoyed this, this event. I would love to see them put another one of these on again. Uh, let me know how you guys are feeling in the comments below, man. Um, and let me know, right? Like, it, here's the tough part, right? It makes me want to watch racing more. And I probably will try and give NASCAR a try again. Maybe my taste in sports has just changed a little bit. And uh, my understanding of the sports a little different. So I'll be more in tune with it. But I mean, this was, this was a... Like, I don't think that you can replicate this on a on just a regular track going around and around and around, right? Like, I know the strategy is still there. Different things like that are still there. But I just don't feel like you can replicate that on uh, in a situation like how the city was with how the turns were. And I think that the only way to do that is to have it in another city or do it again in Chicago, right? Maybe pick different streets. You, you, and that's the, that's the crazy part about this. Like to me, this is the beginning of something that could go so far, right? Oh, we're going to do this in, um, I feel like New York would be tough. I feel like New York would be tough. I'm trying to think of another city that probably would hit with it. You probably could do L.A. I'm thinking even maybe more hills, right? Maybe it's something crazy like Montana or something like that. Um, or I don't know. Y'all pick a city. Let me know what the next best city would be. But then, right, like there is the setup that is different from how Chicago was set up. There is the setup that is a different scenery. And you have an entire circuit where you're going, boom, okay, we got this city, this city, this city, this city, this city, this city major race at the end of it. Like I feel like that would be such a draw for the non-NASCAR fan i'm talking about i am somebody who doesn't watch racing in the slightest i watch like the f1 a little bit um but i i just don't i'm not a, i'm not a fan of the sport but this made me such a fan of guys that i didn't even know i didn't even know van van gigsenberg like he's not even on the circuit right like he ends up he came over from australia um where he races over there he said he's got another year on the australian circuit i think but to me right like Here's the funny thing about all of this. When I looked at it, like I didn't I thought I'd tune in for a, a few minutes. I thought I'd tune in, see all oh, see the scenery. Oh, this is cool. I bet I'm out. I watched the entire race from beginning to end. Now I walked in and out, right? Like I, I don't think that that's egregious to do in a 100 lap race. And, and it went to overtime. I don't even know how that works. But I watched the entire race. And I did not expect to do that. I did not go into the night expecting that. So bravo NASCAR, really good job on this event, man. Um, and I hope that there's more coming in the future to get me locked in, man. Uh, Y'all let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. I'm sure there'll be some guys like, who's this idiot talking about race and don't know nothing about race and all that. I don't know why I went with the Southern accent. Well, yeah, I do. It, it's a very, it's a very popular sport in the south but uh yeah let me know um how you guys felt about the event man i thought it was great um as always it's your boy Pat the designer back at it again to continue watching our chicago sports content it's still chicago sports content click the links on the screen check the links in the description below make sure to tune in with all the content we got on the channel man y'all stay safe out there chicago one love peace